Hey, New Egg viewers, Juan Carlos Bagnell here on the CES 2019 show floor, and we're we're behind, we're inside the Razer booth, Trey exclusive, here to talk about some of the new developments in Razer gaming laptops, displays, displays in laptops, some really exciting stuff. We've got Kevin here to help us go through all of the new developments. Kevin, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, pleasure to have you guys out here to take a look at the new stuff we're launching at CES. One of the most exciting things, obviously, the Blade 15 is yeah. getting GeForce RTX graphics. We're expanding the range of the graphics we're mm -hmm. supporting. We're doing the 2060 full power, 2070 max Q, 2080 max Q, all of that goodness getting in the Razer Blade 15 uh, coming at the end of the month. Now, what I thought was interesting is that you're still positioning the 10 series cards mm -hmm. um, and just changing price tiers to sort of uh, fit different gamers' needs. Yeah, so the base model that we launched last October really was out there to allow people to get into the Blade 15 chassis at a lower starting price point, offer a slightly different configuration with dual storage, Ethernet connectivity, um, and so that'll still be a current product in market at $15.99, and then if you want to step it up a notch, a big notch up to the <laughs> RTX graphics, you get into the new advanced model. Um, we made some other changes to that advanced model. Yeah. We added a new webcam, for example. It's nice. an IR HD webcam setup, so you can do the Windows Hello Face logins. Very nice. That's always convenient and secure. Um, we tweaked the keyboard a little bit, so you that are familiar with Razer out there know our per-key lighting was lacking Roma. the secondary function light. We fixed that now on the QWERTY layout, so you'll get all the key markings lit up for that keyboard layout, so that's big things. Um, and then there was a lot of the greatness that we left unchanged, so it is nice. still the world's smallest 15.6 inch gaming laptop. Defined by footprint, it's just .70 inches thin, only .78 on the base model, and it's around four and a half pounds, so it's super portable, super powerful. Nice, it's portable and powerful, and I'm, I like the new slightly harder. I have an older Razer Blade 14, mm -hmm. so I like these new harder edges, and I'm so happy to see Ethernet back. Yeah, the base model laptops. has that. It's great. We've got great Wi-Fi on both models as well. But sometimes um, you need a cable. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you've got to have that right cable. In. Great connectivity around this as well. Three USB 3.1s, HDMI 2.0, Mini Display Point 1.4, USB-C with Thunderbolt 3. Uh, you can do out to three external monitors and have the internal monitor still cranking. So lots of connectivity, and for those that like to get in and upgrade this thing, mm -hmm. it's ready for it. We've increased the maximum RAM capacity to 64 gigs. Nice. It supports Intel XMP memory if you want to install chips that are compatible with that. And of course, the SSD can go up to two terabytes if you'd I like I can't tell to. you how many people we've been talking to who are excited about being able to get into the RAM again. Yeah. Yeah, so it's great. It's a couple T5 screws on the back. The whole panel lifts off, really accessible. Beautiful. Um, one thing I didn't mention already was the displays that yeah, we're going to ship. Absolutely. Coming out end of January, the 144 hertz full HD IPS panel, as well as a 4K IPS touch display. Soon after that, I don't have exact timing, but we're showing off here at the show, 4K OLED. It's beautiful, inky blacks, rich colors. <laughs> and then the smoothest gaming monitor I've seen on a laptop, a 240 hertz full HD. Nice. It's remarkable stuff. Stuff. Coming soon, can't say exactly when, uh, but start getting excited. I, I, I maybe got to see that OLED in action that unfortunately you guys are just going to have to wait a little bit longer until it's for real. Um, and so moving from displays and laptops to mm -hmm. displays that go on your desktop, tell yeah. me what's new with uh, Razer desktop displays. Yeah, so we just announced our first kind of built from the ground up Razer display, the Razer Raptor. It's a 27 inch WQHD panel. 2560 by 1440, it's 144 hertz, mm -hmm. IPS, does 95% DCI-P3 color range. Nice. So it's got great color support, fast refresh, beautiful thin bezels, and the design of this thing is really awesome. It's got a forged aluminum base. You can tilt it back 90 degrees to get easy access to the cables, Very and nice. we include all the cables with it, and they work with the built-in cable management system on the backside. Super clean cable management, beautiful design. It's all aluminum with some uh, cloth material on the back to soften up the aesthetics. And for the on-screen display, a five-way analog joystick. None of the uh, tricky buttons yeah, that you have to combos. guess the sequence of. <laughs> Um, so the laptops will be shipping January 29th, starting from 2299. Uh, 2299 for the for the 10, 10 uh, the 2016, 2016 non Max Q, and then all the way up to 29.99 for the 2080 Max Q. The Razer Raptor will ship in Q2, 699 for AMD FreeSync version. We're working closely with Nvidia on getting a G Sync version, and then as you guys heard Sunday night on Nvidia's keynote, That's Adaptive right. Sync is coming. This is one of those monitors. 
So by the time this ships, it might already be qualified for right. that. If it's not, you can always turn it on manually in the control panel once they drop that driver this month. Nice, excellent. So some exciting news coming from Razer. Uh, we're gonna be here all around the show floor, so definitely uh, stay tuned to the Newegg YouTube channel. Uh, give them a follow, all of the Newegg socials, because there's so much more coming from CES 2019, and you guys aren't gonna wanna miss it. Don't miss it. So thanks so much for watching, sharing, subscribing, and we will catch you all on the next video.